morning, Jupiter Middle, and welcome to the news. Today is Thursday, March 24th. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. And now to a moment of silence for one minute. We've got big news about one of our very own. Ms. McAlexander and the Spelling Bee Club are proud to announce that seventh grader Varshita Bonjanapati represented our school at the Scripps National Spelling Bee, Region 1 Spelling Bee at the beginning of March. Round after round of words that many of us would have no idea what they're saying. The talented Varshita was declared one of the two winners who made it to the National Spelling Bee in Washington, DC. Yes, Varshita, the girl who might be sitting next to you in class right now will be in the National Spelling Bee in June, which always makes it on national news. These are not common words she needs to know, but words like garrulity, the meaning of excessive talkativeness, especially on trivial matters, and my favorite, ambistoma, which also is the genus of salamanders. Way to go, Varshita, and best of luck from your man and her family. Looking ahead to tomorrow, our basketball teams take on IMS tomorrow after school at IMS. These games will prove to be exciting, but let's remember a few items from our administration. These are the same rules we enforce for our visitors here, and you might not know them all. Bring your money. It costs cash a lot to get into the game. No backpacks. You've got to leave the backpacks at a friend's house or in a car, but you can't bring them into their gym. And if you've got a purse or other tote, it must be clear. And that goes for adults too, so if an adult is attending with you, tell them that information. They might have a snack bar, so bring a few extra bucks if you buy a snack. And by all means, what you take in, you take out. All garbage should be put in garbage cans, not left in the stands. You will probably hear Ms. Hasty discuss this, but please act like the star students we are. JMS has the best fans out of all the schools, and let's let them see just how fabulous we are. And last, have fun and cheer on the teams to victory. In other sports news, the boys and girls track teams and boys volleyball teams will have tryouts soon. We don't know the exact dates, but we are reminding all students interested in trying out to make sure you already have a completed athletic packet on file with Ms. Loyal in the gym. If you have already tried out for a team, that means you already turned in your packet. Listen here and read the Friday e-blast for updates. That's, That's all, all we all have today, man. <laughs> I thought you were okay. the book. Yeah, you do that. Anonymous Hasty. Have, have a great Thursday. Thursday. Good morning, Jupiter Mariners, and welcome to a thankful Thursday. Today, I'm thankful for a couple of things, um, mostly my students. Varshitha, congratulations. I'm thankful that you have perseverance and poise under pressure. I can't even imagine the pressure it takes to be the success that you are. I am in awe of you, and I cannot wait to watch the National Scripts Spelling Bee in June. I'm also thankful um, for students pitching in and really helping. I was just walking down the hallway and some students were talking to me about how they had just helped clean up in the cafeteria. Students, this is really, really important. I don't know if you noticed those beautiful shiny floors when you got back from break, but let's all pitch in to make this the sparkling place that we all know it can be. So I'm thankful for all those things. With something to think about, this is Miss Hasty. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Mm -hmm.